Greetings, Kindred. Welcome back to Our World of Darkness, another episode of Level by Level, our Offuscate playlist. I am Voivode Maquette, and tonight we are going to go over Cloak the Gathering, a level 5 uh, power for Offuscate and Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition. Um, this power hasn't really changed much. There are a few fine-tuned tweaks, but primarily the use of this power is to make sure that your entire coterie can use the benefits of your obfuscate power. So let's go ahead and see what the book has to say about this. The vampire can shelter their companions under the cloak of obfuscate. Short, simple, and sweet. I do like the fact that it says, in general, Offuscate. It does not say Cloak of Shadows. It does not say Unseen Passage. It does not say Silence of Death. It says Offuscate. So, does that mean that it allows all Offuscate? As a storyteller, I assume that it does. As a player, I assume that it does. So, various powers of Offuscate should be able to use anything, anything below the level 5 powers of Offuscate should be able to use... Uh, this kind of thing, unless you're talking about amalgams. I generally do not count amalgams as things that you can just share. Uh, individuals need to be able to use their own gifts when it comes to things like that. Now, the cost for this power is one rouse check in addition to the cost of the power extended. So this one does have an additional cost, an, ad an additional chance of hunger. Using this ability basically states that when you're using gifts such as Mask of a Thousand Faces or things like that, this is going to be a power that causes two Rouse checks and not just one. The system states the vampire can extend their power of obfuscation to a number of additional willing subjects equal to their wits plus one for each additional Rouse check made. The obfuscate power used on the group can be any known to the user and every member of the group counts as having used it on themselves. Using the obfuscating vampire's rating as their own when needed for a role, members of the group can still perceive each other while under the effects of this power. If anyone besides the user is revealed, either through their own doing or an astute observer, the rest of the group remains hidden. If the user is revealed, so is everyone else. I love the details on that. That does give a lot more information than earlier uh, uses of Obfuscate did. Before, it was pretty much everybody can be invisible, but now it does say that the user can use any of their known Obfuscate. Now, it also says that if somebody is being detected or somebody's trying to be aware of members, if it's not the direct user of Cloak the Gathering, the other individuals in their group uses the caster's traits to defend. So it would be the caster's wits plus stealth, not the individual vampire being tested. The caster of Cloak of Shadows. Also, any individual vampire who gets caught is specifically them getting caught, not the entire group, unless, again, it is the caster. If Don Rose from Thicker Than Water decided to take the entire coterie on a Cloak the Gathering trip through the Elysium, if anybody gets caught, it's their own ass. If Dawn gets caught, everybody gets caught, because her concentration gets broken, and therefore so does her use of Offuscate, Cloak the Gathering. The duration is as power extended. So this is a power that is just going to push on to other individuals. So I like that. Now, this, out of, out of my many years of playing Vampire the Masquerade, and when I say many, I mean like two decades worth, and I know there's people who, out there who have played longer, but I can actually only remember one instance of me being involved in a group of of vampires using this. I was playing a Malkavian uh, in a um, in a LARP, and uh, and I got invited along on a mission. I think it might have just been all Malkavians doing this, 
but uh, the the leader of our group had cloaked the gathering, and we were going into a building and basically performing some espionage services for the prince. Um, that was the only time I can remember using this, but this power is so damn useful, especially if you can get past the concept of vampires being out for themselves, which is very hard and should be very hard because vampires by nature are solitary creatures, but they're constantly fighting that human part of themselves that begs for companionship. So as always, I want to know how you've used this power. How has it helped you in your games? And uh, I'd love to hear your stories. I am Voivode Maquette. This is our world of darkness and level by level, and we have just read the details on Cloak the Gathering. Class dismissed.